Okay, so <clears throat> I'm attacking early this time. Um, I mean, earlier than usual. I, you know, the guild war is like half over this time. Usually, I'm at like the tail end of it. But uh, let's take a look at what we have here. Uh, let's see. Wow, we are 353. That's pretty horrible. Uh, and it looks like from the guild log, we're struggling with these guys even. So and we both got 18 members left with, or whatever. No, 18 of these. We got they got 32 tokens. We got 29. Uh, well, we do have less tokens, but I th we have more points per token. I think. And look, that's what it looks like. So. But yeah, I mean, just a general thing. It's like the fact, the fact that we're struggling with such a low-ranked uh, guild is pretty indicative of where we are right now. So, um, let's just get in here, I guess. The stronghold is open, so that means that one of these towers is dead, which is this one. Because the one on fire usually means the stronghold is dead, or the tower's dead, so that one's dead. And this one's still here. I think what I want to do is the stronghold, uh, and then just pick some random towers to to go knock out. Uh, let's take a look here. Actually, I forgot to go check. Let's see. I'm gonna check the guild log right now. I'm gonna pause this. Okay, so it looks like nobody's uh, reported anything on the in the Discord for this this uh, main fort here. So I'll probably have to put the information for that later. Um, but yeah, let's take a look here. Is this first team? I feel very strongly that I should bring Yuffie into this because she has the AOE and the single target. Uh, you don't really want to AOE, right? Because um, Charles will hit you. But let's put this here. Should I bring? I think I'm going to bring. CC to this. Well, no, I think. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna bring CC to this. Um, just because I think the barrier might be better than the than that, and then the, the immunity and all that. We'll see how this goes. Um. Okay, so there's that. Next, let's take a look down here. Uh, so the idea here is Euphine is going to S3 her and then cycle back around, probably S2. Now there's a lower chance of Charles counterattacking. Um, uh, she's going to hit her probably and then I'm going to provoke lock Charles with MLCC and then he's just going to heal everybody. Uh, so down here there's a lot of, there's a decent amount of damage. I kind of want to bring... Well, actually, uh, we're, yeah, we're probably going to take the usual down here. Um, where is my... There he is, Pro. Uh, the main problem I'm thinking here is uh, the... Ravi is going to be uh, pretty annoying to kill. I'm probably just going to use the. I might use the S3 on Ravi. I'll probably use it eventually, just because we'll have we don't have to worry about turns here. But uh, hopefully this doesn't go too too poorly. Um, this team up here, I kind of want to like. It's it's good that they have this water unit, especially um. Uh, Elena here because it, st it kind of stops you not entirely but like I want to bring um, Tenebria up here but um, of course that's probably isn't a good idea so I think I'm just gonna go with what I have now do I have anybody who gives attack buff I have a few but I, I guess the question is do I want to bring in Ugh, my Diana is, my Diana is so poorly built Where is she? I can't even find her. Water. She's around here somewhere. 
Yeah, I have DN. She's built somewhere. I was using her for um, whatever, but I don't know why I can't find her right now. Um, but I, yeah, I don't really, I don't think I want to bring her in into this. Sure, where is she? Yeah, I, I don't know where she is. I don't know why she's not here in the six stars. Cause right here. Okay, she's right here. Yeah. Cause I, I got down here and I didn't see her, but yeah, she's right there. So. Well, she's kind of built, but I'm not too confident in her build right now. I think is I think I, I think I need that attack break, uh, that attack buff, to one shot this one. Um, which is the only concern I have. I mean, if I don't one shot her, I'm probably gonna lose. Um, conversely, I might be able to just one shot Charles. I think I'm just gonna do that instead. Um, yeah, that'll be yeah. I think I don't know why I wasn't. I didn't already have that uh, as the main plan. See, I think I'm just going to one-shot Charles. Let's see. And he's got immunity, which is good because it makes it easier. So let's do this. Okay, so let's... Let's hit this just to see how much... Uh, damage we do on Charles. So we hit him for 3k, and it took a little bit of his HP there. Ah! Ah, I'm such an idiot. That was my fault entirely. Um, I forgot people run Magaraha's Tome on her. Ugh, that was dumb. I just want to take this whole turn back. Um, let's see what this does. I'm gonna get countered. Oh, I didn't. And everybody resisted. That's pretty crazy. Let's see. Well, I can't really hit anybody. I should probably be hitting Charles because I kind of I kind of doubt he's on he's on uh, counter, but I don't know. Uh, so here comes this. Let's see what this does. <sighs> Elena is such an irritating character. Like there's nothing I hate more than Elena. Uh, let's just hit you. Provoked again somehow. Uh, he has a defense buff, which. Did I just miss the crit? Oh my gosh, dude. I can't fucking believe this. <clears throat> so I need to kill Charles as soon as possible. This should kill him. If I crit, thank fuck. <clears throat> so now it's just easy just hitting these two. Uh, let's see if uh, they don't kill me. Okay, dual attack. It's kind of weird. For some reason, I feel like do like Euphine more than any other character dual attacks for no reason. Like I don't have like a dual attack set or anything on her. She just kind of does a lot. I don't know why. <clears throat> Maybe I should go check her stats later. See if she has like kind of like uh, what's her name? What's that girl's name? Lorena. She feels like this weird, like, like, cause Lorena has a 7% dual attack chance once you complete her awakening tree. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. And that should be, this should be it. Let's burn it for style. <clears throat> looks pretty sketchy. I wonder how much damage they'll be able to do. Let's hit you. Why not? Um, <clears throat> Let's just hit you. That's actually a pretty bad idea now that I'm thinking about it considering um, the more the more I lower her the more damage she's gonna do on her S3 because of her passive. That's fine. 
So she revived. She's gonna hit us pretty hard. Uh, so she took some. She's taking damage here. Okay. Let's see what this does. Well, she's missing the attack buff, which is better, I think. Well, uh, let's take a look at that. I think she's dead. Yeah, she's dead again. Um, I might. Uh, I think I'm just gonna hit her. She can't heal right now, so I think now's a good time to focus her. And then, oh balls! It didn't really matter. I wasn't gonna S3 yet anyway. Hit you again. You could, wow, that's two times in a row. That's that's just amazing. Is what that is. Um, Crimson Seed. Okay. Um. Okay. I swear, dude, if she if she stuns Crow again, I'm gonna be so pissed. Okay, well, she didn't hit Crow. Let's hit you. <clears throat> yeah, okay, this is good, because then I can just S3 uh, her. Okay, cool. I actually should have healed her. I think she's she's in serious danger of dying. Of course. Um, let's hit her with this. Uh, I need to get better gear for my crow. I need uh, like one of those Abyss 88 swords. I need one of those like Abyss level 88 swords on him. Um, well, I kind of need one, but like it needs to roll like you have five rolls on that on that, and I need to get like three health and three sp and two speed or something like that, right? Just like a lot of speed and a lot of health. I need to dodge the attack and the crit chance. Um, but the problem is I have on him a um, a defense sword or whatever, uh, uh, a defense set sword. Um, because it's really, it's got really good stats on it, so it's like it's gonna like I'm gonna need something you know almost perfect to to make me want to get rid of it is the is the problem there. Uh, let's see. Do I want to fight against this? I mean, I could just take a I could just hit this. Oh, let's just hit this. Let's not be uh, half ass about it. Um, what's going on here? I kind of want this up here. Actually, I might just bring you down here. Okay, yeah, we'll just do that. Uh, something like this. Uh, then you will be here. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, down here, do I want this? Uh, let's try not to um, S3 for no reason this time, because that was pretty irritating the last time we did that. Uh, I think I need to bring her, yeah. This team is, a team kind of like this is coming out quite a bit, but it doesn't really stop anybody. Um, I'll see how this uh, top team does. That, the attack buff from Charles looks like it's going to be really irritating. Well, let's take a look here and see what happens. Yeah, this is kind of sketchy. And ideally, I'd probably take her and just one-shot him, and then he can't revive. Not only can he not revive from his own ability, but, like, we all can't revive him. And then just start working on Charles, but... I don't know. Hold on, I'm gonna go check her gear real quick and be back. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna tank it. Um... Doesn't seem like a good idea, but you know, whatever. We'll just go in there and take a look at it. My Ooh, that was interesting. My uh 
My Lilibet is geared, and she's geared pretty well. She's got 4k attack with uh, 244 crit damage. It's not, like, amazing, but, it, you know, it's decent. Um, let's hit, uh, let's hit you. It's not amazing, uh, but it's decent, and I, I, I mean, I might have been able to one-shot him, but for one, he was kind of fast there. Uh, faster than this team. Um, I don't know if Lilibet would have survived that. Not really too sure about her, uh, her tanking. She's got, like, a 1,000 HP, like, 800 defense, I think. Not too confident in that counterattack. Okay, one into the uh, let's S two here. Okay, so I think he's coming back. Oh no, he's not yet. Okay, cool. Uh, she's gonna heal. This is an interesting build. He's a little faster than I personally would have gone. Oh, very interesting. I thought he was gonna heal. I thought uh, she was gonna heal. What's his name? Okay, that did almost no damage. Okay, I think he's gonna die. Now. Oh, I think I don't need to think about. It. I think he is gonna die. He actually is gonna die. Um, so the question is, can we survive and the greater attack buff? Can we survive this? So this is kind of like part of the argument of like why you might want to run. Um, let's do why you might want to run some speed on him, and I th and I do think some speed is good. Uh, we lost a speed check here because my highest speed unit is, well, actually, uh, Crow and um, Ruel are like 170. I think Crow's 177, Ruel's 175. My Crow needs to be like 180 something. I need to move some gear around for him. But basically, my point is, um, I don't think you want to go too far into uh, into speed. So I mean, he's probably like one. I said one, uh, one, you know, maybe 180 or something like that, which I think is pretty good. Um, but I think once you're like, especially down at these tiers, once you're pushing more speed, you're sacrificing too many other stats for that. Um, and yeah, I, I don't really think it's worth it. Uh, I'm actually, I'm, I'm kind of thinking here, debating who I should S3. So he's been killed once. Let's S3. I don't need to S3 him because he's not that tanky. I should S3 her maybe. But the thing is, he's gonna have he's gonna lap us and hit us again, which I don't think we can all survive. Um, so I, I might have to just kill him. Ugh, this is bad. This is fine. I think I'm just gonna S three her. Um, since Charles is defense broken, I don't want to. I don't want that defense break to go to waste, so I'm just gonna hit him. Um, and of course, I got the counter attack and the non crit, and I missed. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Let's, uh. Um. Let's heal. This is bad. Uh, let's just do this. See if he counters. Okay. Okay. So he went after who I thought he was going to go after, which is good. Um, just kill him. Hopefully we don't just like explode here. Okay. okay so that's pretty good. Um, I'm going to heal her with this. <clears throat> and I got the okay, so this is pretty good. Okay, there you go. Um, so that was kind of sketchy, um, but I went through it. Uh, the only thing I think uh, I think my my uh, Ruel needs a little more speed, a little more tankiness, and that just comes from I need to uh, level ninety her boot. Okay, so let's not S3 this time. Well, it doesn't really matter considering she's gonna um, outspeed Yufin anyway. But let's just hit her. Okay, so we got the taunt, which is what we wanted. Let's see if I can kill her. I doubt it. Well, yeah, because that, that uh, S1 hit pretty hard, so I was thinking maybe, yeah. So that's cool. 
So now we just gotta hit her, which is fine. Um, she's gonna focus. This is what's so great about having DJ Basar. Uh, people just like you can use him as a light bait. Uh, he's not like the best light bait because obviously, as you can see here, he's gonna take quite a bit of damage. Uh, but now we can do this, and he'll have the barrier. Um, so hopefully that'll give me some time to like heal him up by himself there. Um, okay, and then let's see, let's hit everybody with this. And she's almost dead, so. Okay, so then I can just S1 her here, and there we go. So now she's focused on on CC there. Okay. Uh, I'm still gonna get hit by that S1 from from what's her name down there. Okay. Okay. Wow, she's almost dead off an S1. Okay, this is bad. This is this is actually pretty bad. Um Yeah, that's uh that Tinibri hits really hard. And there's this, of course. Um let's boost everybody forward. Okay, this is exactly what I wanted. Um, okay, cool. So she's hopefully gonna die. Okay, I got the crit. Let's see if she dies. Okay, cool. And then I get to uh, S2 her. I mean, I can S1 her, right? But regardless. Okay. So that was pretty sketchy. Uh, they almost killed Yufin. Obviously, there's no revive. I might, well, yeah, I don't think I would have won that without Yufin because it's hard to, it's, it's kind of hard to kill. Um, what's her name there? Uh, let's take a look. Let's knock a tower over that's about to fall. Like, uh... What's this one at? 80. I think you hit somebody, for, I think you hit him for 80 and then they die. I'm not sure though. This is another case of like, maybe just Yufin, like kill him. Um, but this Bizar, his Bizar might be faster than mine. Um, some people put a lot of speed on their Bizar. I don't put a lot of speed just because, uh... Um, I wanted I want him to be tanky, so he's got a decent amount of speed. He's got like two twenty three or something like that. But he's also just like here to help uh, tank light bait to be a light bait as well as doing all that stuff. Um, so of course I don't get attacked very often. Um, yeah. So let's go back here. There's nothing here. Uh, there's nothing here. I might just have to hit that guy. Ugh. Yeah, this Basar is kind of scary. Well, it's the team is kind of scary, but the Basar eats outspeeding mine is what kind of uh, puts me puts me in reservation there. If I do something like this, no, this is kind of dumb. But I, I might be able to use this down here somewhere. Go there, and then might just be able to leave it at that. Uh, these two are gonna be baited on her, and then he's gonna do whatever he's gonna do. I don't know. Um, I think I'm just gonna go with this up here. Just to like, not worry about it. Uh, this is the last one, so I feel like just kind of messing around a little bit and I haven't brought Tenebria into anything and I really wanted to. 
Um, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna go with this. Let's see where this goes. Okay, so his is faster. See, this is what I was worried about, but that's fine. Um, so he's gonna take all his turns. Uh, she's gonna go. That was interesting. I thought Charles was faster. I didn't think. Okay. Now we got the S3. He's at 1200 HP or 12,000 HP. Oh, he's on portrait, so that's pretty cool. That means that we can just kill him. I really don't agree with putting portrait on your Charles because it just means that, like, he's irrelevant. Now, it could just be that people don't have, like, um, I didn't see how much HP that guy had, uh, but I think I should use this first just because we might, um, uh, he might die up there, so let's, uh, let's do that. I really don't think I agree with putting um, portrait on your Charles, because otherwise he, he's not irritating enough and you can just outspeed him. Uh, but the thing is, let's see. Um, yeah, now, now I don't have any reservations about doing this. I can just hit people with this. And then I get the S2. Uh, I'm going to kill you now. Um, but you know, it could be a simple uh, matter of like he doesn't have, um, or he or she does not have the uh, Elbrus, which is you know the case for some people. <clears throat> but yeah, like if you have Elbrus and you're going anything that isn't Elbrus, then you're really sort of like defeating the purpose of running Charles. Okay, let's see what we got here. So yeah, of course he's got immunity. Um, see if I can't strip it. Nope. Let's see about hitting him. <laughs> so he resisted. He's got a quite a bit of resistance then. Uh, let's do this. Proof of Valor. <laughs> very interesting. Uh, he's not tanky whatsoever. 17k is, is very low. Uh, so he got the... Wow, he got the... He's got insane resistance and obscene effectiveness. Because like I said, my... My uh, Ruel has 150. So the fact that she got hit by that is... For one, it's kind of ridiculous. But for two, it's like... Pretty annoying. Uh, let's see what this does. Uh, let's see how much resistance this guy has. Etika's, I got the Etika's proc for nothing there. Uh, let's do... I'm just going to heal her. Okay, so yeah, because most of them are being baited onto her, like... She's about to hit her, yeah. So it kind of leaves the rest of these to do whatever. I got the two most important debuffs onto um, Ken there, which is the important part. Oh wow, that's crazy. And she got the counter, of course she did. Why, why, why wouldn't she, right? Um, and he cleansed one of the um, one of them off, which is pretty irritating. Okay, I got the sleep. This is probably a bad decision. I really should save this S3 for um, Tenebria. Uh, but I think, yeah, I think I'll be fine. Or actually, yeah, that was actually a horrendously bad decision on my part, considering. Uh, let's do. I really do need to get this slow on everybody, but um, I'm just going to hit you because I really don't like you. Oh, okay, cool. Got to sleep. I got the got the crit on the uh, what's his name there. Just kill you because you're getting on my nerves. 
Um, he's the only one who attacks someone who isn't Ruel. Like, these two will just focus Ruel, so this is pretty good. Um, to a degree, considering she is taking quite a bit of damage. Ugh, that's disgusting. Um, she might die here, but that's fine. Like I said, I have revive. It just takes, it's just a matter of time. Okay, let's see. So she didn't crit the, um, Ken, which is good. Uh, so now she can, she's got a breather here. I can, well, not really considering, uh, I'm going to come back in a little bit. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I, need, I really need to be cautious because and she got to sleep again and she got she gets to lap uh, let's see if she dies oh I killed him nice this is going like a lot better than I really should have but I mean that just kind of goes to show you the power of uh... let's just hit her with this I want to push her back oh she resisted and I get to do this again um, well, there you go. Um, Tenebria, she's just amazing. Like, good gosh, man. Uh, but yeah, there we go. So. I think what... Something that, like, what makes her really good is that, like... Especially in RTA, too, because... Um, like, here, I really should have... I, sh I sh really should not have brought the, um... The... What's her name? The Dizzy, I really should have brought um, Alencia. Um, because that way, I can choose to either AoE or single target and then still have the strip on the AoE. Um, and pl I mean, not, not to mention she's also Alencia is a lot tankier. But uh, the point there is that in RTA, Alencia is a pretty contested pick. So you can kind of like pick her early on. And then save the Tenebria pick for later, so you can take a look at what's going on, and then if you decide Tenebria is you know good to be here, then you know pick Tenebria. Um, and it's just good that like Alencia is so generically usable that you know she's got a strip, and you know she synergizes so well with uh, with Tenebria. Uh, let's go take this. Uh, for those of you, I mean, I think it's pretty common knowledge now. Um, Arbiter Vildred here is in Mystics. Uh, it's pretty annoying that Watcher Shuri is who's with him, considering um, I have Watcher Shuri Triple S imprinted and Shuri Triple S imprinted. So basically, this is just fodder for me. So that kind of sucks. But uh, for one, uh, for two, um, this rotation really sucks. Uh, Rose would be nice to get some dupes on her, but uh, it, you know, don't care about. I mean, my regular Roman's already maxed and printed, and I'm just stacking up other ones for ML Roman. Um, don't really need her; she's already kind of maxed. And then, of course, nobody wants Leo. Uh, I'm also probably not gonna summon on this one, depending on how bad the next one is after this one. Um, like for one, I already have Tywin, so that's kind of a waste if I lose the 50/50 there. Uh, I already have two idols. Cheers. Um, yeah, I mean, I already have two idols too, so there's not a whole lot of reason to want to pull this one necessarily. And I've already got like a bunch of Acadies. Actually, I think I have two Shooting Star Acadies, which is pretty annoying. Um, but I got a bunch of Acadies. Don't really need too many of her right now. Uh, I will need some later though. Um, I've got like an ocean of Armin's, and I don't have any uh, Crimson Armin, so I just keep them all there until I get a Crimson Armin, and then I don't need Corvus. And then the rest of the stuff is whatever. So. I think uh, for those of you who play Fire Emblem, uh, you know that uh, like saving is is well, the most important thing in Fire Emblem. Is like you really gotta like you know meter out your your usage. And uh, Epic Seven is is not as important. Um, basically, well, the normal summoning pool isn't as important as it is in um, Fire Emblem. But basically, you want to treat your Mystic summons the way you treat your orbs in Fire Emblem. It's like they're a very limited resource. You want to save at all positions. So. For me, no matter, like, I mean, you know, people think that, like, oh, you know, Arbiter is guaranteed basically to be a good unit. And he is. I mean, I, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't bet on, on there for some reason being a better unit than him. Uh, but, yeah, so, I mean, I'm always, it's always better to be paranoid than than, than not to be. Um, so I'm just waiting to see what the, I'm going to wait till the third rotation to see what the next, um, next ML unit is. Um, 
it, it's kind of hard to imagine from this position, you know, from, from where we are now. You can see here I have a, a second Ruel here, which is pretty irritating. Um, it's hard to imagine from where we are now. See, there's my other shooting star Arcades, and I have one built already. Uh, it's hard to imagine from this position now, like where we are, that like how you would even make a stronger unit than Arbiter. Um, but it's always something to consider. So, you know, for those of you who haven't summoned yet, you know, just, just, just chill. You know, he's going to be there for three weeks. There's no reason to like go all in. You've made it this far without him. You know, you're not going to like skyrocket into Legend Arena, you know, today if you pull him today. Right. So just, you know, like I said, just chill. Be chill. Um, there's no reason to rush him. Uh, but yeah, that, that's just the way I see it. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, if you really like kind of itching to summon, like I said, there, there really isn't like, it, it's hard. Like I said, it's, it's really hard to imagine there'll be a better unit. So, you know, by all means you're pretty safe to summon, but me on, on, especially the way Smallgate has been acting, um, they've been acting pretty scumbaggy in the past, uh, few months. Um, so I, I wouldn't put it past them to release, um, uh, an ML unit that just like overshadows him. Um, but that'd be pretty funny. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. I'm, I'm waiting personally. I think it's uh, ML Charles, uh, and he's just the same as regular Charles, except like he's got no shirt on. He looks like Escanor, and like he AOE's when he when he S two when he goes into S, his S two is an AOE. So you just S one somebody and then you S two them, like he does normally. But it's AOE, so that's kind of what uh <laughs> what I like to think is it will be the next one. But yeah, so. Uh, until next Guild War, I might have a video on Fire Emblem later, but uh, yeah, I'll have to think about that.